Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? I think it's down in this direction. Uh, to the wards. No, this isn't right, is it? Oh, bollocks. Yeah, that's not right. Uh, do we literally have to use the car? We might actually have to use the car. I was pretty sure I could just walk it, though. One minute, well, one minute, we'll, we'll wander around and see. Mainly because I kind of like wandering around the station. I know it's a silly thing to say, especially when you have these lifts, but, you know. Add some atmosphere. Also, you can look how bloody pastly her face looks. I, I, I don't understand that, just... Everyone looks like a mannequin. The shaders aren't quite right, I don't think. You can also watch the freaky the shadows. Isn't gonna ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. <laughs> we don't, sir. We don't? Oh, right, we don't actually have to trust him. Yeah, I get it. Ah, oh, Ash, you're so dull. So are you, Caden. I'm sorry, but you're both dull characters. You're just... pretty much got the... you know personality of a piece of wood with a nail in it and you're just like oh my god my head hurts and Ash is just all the way like oh I hate aliens but I'm gonna work with them but I really hate them they're assholes aliens are bad Ugh. Saren's hiding something give me more time stall them stall the council <laughs> don't be ridiculous your investigation is over Garrus Hey, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across Find anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. Aww. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. <laughs> Good joke. Anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, did I say something? I don't think I did. No, I, just, I said nothing. Anyway. Sorry. It's meant to be like a serious scene. And I'm like wandering over here. Looking around. I can't help it. I just... Oh, I end up seeing like areas I can wander. Uh, fine, I'll just go up and talk. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. Don't hate me. Oh, hey. Hmm. You've got a name. I'm going to talk to you. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. Hello. Commander. Commander. Oh, Feynman. Got a name, but you mean nothing to me right now. Ah, <sighs> Fein. No. I just want to ask a couple of questions. Maybe I just have to go up here and talk to these guys first. Then I can do missions that rent, please. <laughs> the hearing's already started. Come on. Yes, I know. Just go. We'll catch up. And our really horrible looking armor. The is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized <laughs> dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Ah. Uh, hmm. What did you get the mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Heh. <laughs> Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. 
You're not ready to join the council. You're not even ready to join the specters. Well, you're, so you're There's saying no the specters right are below that. the council? That's no. not his decision. You know. Shepard's admission into the specters is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, counselor, and mine. <laughs> Saren's hiding behind his position as a specter. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. Unfortunately, that is true. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? <laughs> I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. <laughs> you already did by speaking that word. Lane. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was <sighs> served. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs> and so he stands, broken hearted. To leave the Sparage. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. <sighs> to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Uh, make... Yeah. Hmm. We need to deal with Saren safe. ourselves. As a spectre, he's virtually untouched. I think in Paragon, we need to find some way to right when it does him. that. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? Well, CSEC. I have a obviously. contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson <laughs> out of this investigation. Well, leave him the in by right. and things, but, I need you know. to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Feel free to tell him things, but don't, you know. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's den. Give him a new it's a digital little club in the lower section of the wards. Uh, any other? Maybe way? there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Oh, of course. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? The Shadow an Broker. Information dealer, buys and <clears throat> sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You mm -hmm. and Saren have a history. What happened? About twenty years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Hmm. Okay. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I of saw how he did. operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. <laughs> Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's Sometimes, nor do I. He likes the it violence, depends the on the counter. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Um, uh, Barlavon. Tell me about Barlavon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. <laughs> a financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, spectres. I'm not surprised. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. You and Saren have a history. What oh, happened? oops. That's not what I meant. About 20 years. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. Uh, Shadow Broker? No hesitation. Tell me more about he the... He always no, oops, sells sorry. to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Uh, Our ambassador hmm. doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's well, just obviously. frustrated. 
The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone hmm. knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Ah, uh, Renegade. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Hmm. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Protect our own interests. Well, no yeah. more jumping I through hoops whenever we want something. Thought, you know. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. Indeed. Uh, the species. I want to know more about the Spectres. They also wouldn't be in this problem in the first place, though. They tend to work alone, behind the just scenes. saying. They take care of problems the council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. Indeed. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. <laughs> Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law. Do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. I wonder if they ever have a time The Council just turns leave. a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. Sorry, just a thought. I wonder if they you ever have time You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Um, okay, one minute. Let's see what we get instead of powder grade. Uh, come on. I'm hoping this is going to be, uh... Well, Guy's I guess. a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. Well, a lot of backroom yeah. deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his mm -hmm. time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Nice. I I'm sorry go. for that. <laughs> Good luck, Shepard. Uh, I should be, be over in the happy about that, but uh, that's nice. Else. At least now we can cut him loose. Yay! I mean, oh, that, that's terrible. Why would we want to cut some alcoholic drug using police officer off the force? Oh, what is it now? This is it. The very yes. heart of the Citadel, the pinnacle of galactic power. <sighs> Whatever. It makes your head spin if you think about it too much. Well, stop thinking about it. You're the one that continuously gets migraines. Ugh. I'm sorry, but uh, I j I'm not a fan of the two humans in this. No, I have. They're Remember? both just bland and dull, and you're like, eh, whatever. That guy's Anywho. up to something. Okay. What okay. guy? <gasps> oh, that guy. Hi there. The what? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. <laughs> um. Yes. Is there something you want? Come on, give me, give me Paragon. Give me Paragon. Oh, you... I'm going. <laughs> so long. Ah! Fine. Essentially, that's the mission, though. They, you talk to that guy, he gives you a mission to go and look at... Uh, keepers. I'm curious. Um, oh. Yes, is there something you Why want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? <sighs> I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh, I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. <laughs> I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically uh... we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them. But the authorities might disagree. True, they may. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I'm well, going. we got Paragon. So, goodbye. So long. It does seem that the ones on the left are more law-abiding, the ones on the right are more like, eh, you may as well tell us. 
But we did uh, basically skip that quest in the first place. So, may as well just, you know, leave. Because the bloody random generator. Ah, oh, sometimes the random generator. Just, ah, oh, sometimes. I don't know why, I'm vaguely remembering there being something useful back here. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. Hmm? I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. For the Volus? No. Interesting. Just what they're talking about is interesting. Vaguely to me. Like, I get interesting about the silliest things sometimes, okay? Anyway, wait a minute, that was a human. Hmm. Just sitting around the uh, fountain, that's why I was surprised. Anyway, let us get moving, shall we? Oh, where should we go? We might as well go and talk to the Volus first, see if he knows anything. Indeed. Who doesn't? Even politicians sometimes hate politics. I'm sorry, I really have always liked the kind of jazz elevator music for the Mass Effect theme. Anyway, come on, Mr. Secret Broker Man. Uh. Oh, shut up, Caden. I don't care. Uh, we could have actually used the rapid transport now, I think about it, to get here. Uh, alas. I'm probably uh, later on just going to skip myself around the station. So this episode and probably the next one will be the last time I just walk around. Is there anything I can do for you today? Uh, I need your help. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Hmm. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. Oh. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to I you. I hope we keep for free. being nice to this guy then. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren oh. right now. Okay. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren betrayed him. Imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Interesting. Anything else? That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain. Considering the price. Speak mm -hmm. with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Uh, why is he here? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with c -Sec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. <laughs> Thanks for the info. And see you around. My pleasure, Commander. Oh, I bet it was. Ah, uh, anyway. Let's get our way over here. I believe he's the closest way... Oh, what am I? Closest way to see sex over in this direction, right? Yep, there we go. And I believe that's on the lower level. But alas, we'll have to just wander around and see. I told you before, you're not allowed <gasps> this is it! This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. 
Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its contents <laughs> once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Ah, oh, he's listed in assistance. Ah, uh, this isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Ah. Uh, could you buy what a permit? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. Oh. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 so credits money necessary is to purchase the permit. The issue. Uh. I knew it. You're not just evangelizing, you're panhandling. This one desires no charity. It only desires <laughs> to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Fine, goodbye. I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its message. Can I shoot you? Uh, that would spread the one hell of a message, I think, personally. Uh -huh. But yeah, I, I find that mission fun. I don't know why. Just, it's silly. It's not really a mission either. Oof. But I essentially need to get something else before I can persuade it either way. It seems. So at last, let us ignore that for now and carry on with her business. Hmm, now I know where to go. Thank you, Lift. I did not expect you, honestly. Not like that, I was expecting to have to press the button. Also, I love how it goes really slow like this, but shot up there a few moments ago. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors no. are pulling their support for future projects. Uh. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. That's understandable. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Well... They were protected, but, you know... It's kinda hard to protect them completely. Like that. Anywho! <gasps> Hello there! Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. That'll take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. Um, I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. What goal? Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. <laughs> he betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. Oh? He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Hmm. I'm just not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the guy. Oh. Excellent. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. Excellent. Uh, what about the Shadow I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. 
All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. Come on, Paragon or Renegade? Renegade, okay. We can handle this on our own. Oh, uh, uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Uh, well, we may as well stock up in biotic strength, I guess. Or, uh, no, in case there was anything to hack. Anywho. Right, uh, same as normal. Let's stop this continuously shifting and paragate. Right, uh, I want to put it into... Ah, uh, let's think. It increases the duration by 0.5 seconds, that's kind of nice. Uh, shield boost, unlock pistols, advanced shield boost, master shield boost. So also increase, uh... Thinking about ball. Yeah, increases damage reduction as well. Maybe an idea to chase down armor at some point soon. But alas, uh... I want to get... Warp, I'd say, personally. Uh, random? Paragrade again, interestingly. Uh, get some more warp. And uh, finally, renegades. Uh, we can't, so basically paragrade. Uh, mm, yeah, we'll do advanced warp. Right, go. Cool. Uh, Kaden, get yourself a little bit more throw. And some decryption. That's fine, I'll probably get some electronics later. Rex, uh, you might want to get some barrier. And we'll chase you down assault rifles for now. In the hopes of getting shotguns later, probably. Hmm. May also be nice to get you combat armor at some point later. As well. Anyway. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's wander around C-Sec for a little bit. See if we can find anything. I think there is some things to do here. Like, I'm pretty sure there is. Okay, Julie. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman. Hello there. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I think nope. I'll be going. Oh, all right then. Oh, god damn it, really? <laughs> god damn it, RN Jesus. Oh, you hate me. You hate me so much. I'm not going to get to level 60, am I? Oh, you damn RNG. Grr. Um, oh, hey. Oh, thought maybe we'd be able to nab something. Um, no, nothing. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. Ah, uh, is there anything else over here? Sea Tech Officer. Hey there. Hello, Commander. Hello. I seem to be really famous. That everyone in the whole station knows me. Ha. Huh. Hey, I guess why not? Um, we don't want to go up the lift right now. We we'll want to make our way to Cora's Den soon, so we'll think about that a bit. But first off, oh hey, Wreck Officer. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Yep. Who wants to know? Just checking for CSEC records. I can only sell goods to authorized personnel. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander sure. Shepard? Sure, let's have a look. Show me what you got. Hit me with your Excellent. best shot. I hope you find what you're looking for. 
Um, I would like some of your upgrades, or licenses, please. Thank you. Apart from that, I saw a biotic amp there. There we go. Is that any good? No, it's, it's just ever so slightly better for cooldown. That's kind of bollocks. For lack of a better way, isn't it? Right. Uh, well, whatever. We'll have a look around later. Maybe we'll have something else later for us. Who knows? Anywho, uh, what's this way again? To the wards. Yep, that's where we need to go. I think after this lift ride, I'm going to leave it there, though. You know. I think we've gone quite far and we've done a reasonable amount. I'm sorry, the music is mental. <laughs> it's like this strange Spanish Mexican thing. Oh god, please, game, stop. Whatever you're doing, just stop. Hmm. I was hoping there was going to be something said. But anyway, as I said, I'm going to leave it there. So until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.